Welcome everybody to Big Sexy Reviews. Today I'm going to do a quick little video on Crash Bandicoot Insanity Trilogy. Uh, I just figured I already did start playing them. I'm just going to, you know, go through and play each one of, uh, play the first level for each game. Just for fun, you know, just, and then I can give my, like, some impressions and just talk about them a little bit. I figure this is a good, good trial thing to do for maybe for the future. If you guys enjoy me playing some, playing video games, I can play more games. Suggest me, tell me what game you want me to play, and I'll, I'll play them. I'm going to try and skip, I'm going to skip all this just because I don't feel like having to pay for licensing or, you know, any of that. Although I will be, I am using all of this under the free use policies. I do not own any of the content shown in this video. So, setting up batteries alone. I have another one already charged. But yeah, first when I first played this, when I got it. I was amazed. It reminds me. It looked. It just brought me back to my childhood of playing these games. I mean, it looked amazing. That's that's not a good sign. But yeah, everything everything about this game. They look the sound. Everything looked great. I'm not playing this level through for completeness. So I'm just kind of just playing through for fun. This one did get a lot harder due to the fact that they made the jump mechanic work just like the jump mechanic for War, which made this one infinitely harder. Being that, you know, they went from having three different jump mechanics across the three games to having the same jump mechanic for all three now. It did kind of mess with the uh, dynamic for this. So yeah, that was the first level. Quick, short level. I do really love this game. They probably one of my favorite games throughout my childhood. I played them countless times. I still go back every. I, I would go back almost yearly for the last few years. I would replay Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot Two Strikes Back, and Crash Warp. Crash Warp being my favorite of the three. But I'm gonna move on to Crash Bandicoot Cortex Strikes Back. Start the uh, do the second level on that one. Now this isn't really necessarily a video to kind of. It's not like a playthrough. It's just kind of like, oh, this is what you would get if you played first impressions, first level. Me explaining the game. Coming into the uh, second game, Crash Bandicoot 2: Cortex Strikes Back. Just trying to load in. Okay, another first level starts out right in the jungle. You know, same, same idea. The general theme for any of these games never really changed across the series. They just because like the whole. The whole trilogy on the PlayStation 1 was just more fun after each one. Every game got better. Oh, oh yeah, that's... forgot that wasn't the actual level. So right in the Turtle Woods, the first level. And we'll kick it off right there. Okay, we're back everybody. I decided against doing Turtle Woods just because it is a similar level to the one I just played. I'm going to do Snow Go instead. This way I give you guys a different feel for the game. This is where you see a little different side of each one. Sorry if the camera shakes a little bit. You are sitting on the couch next to me. Okay, Snow Go. Again, another really... Wow, I cannot jump. Another really well remastered level. Man. I'm in too much of a rush. I don't want this video to go too long, so I was running through. But yeah, this game brings back a lot of memories for me. 
many hours pl spent playing this game. Many hours now spent playing this game, to be honest. Being able to replay it in beautiful HD. Couldn't have been happier when they announced this. I, when I heard it was announced, I pre-ordered right away. That's embarrassing. That's also embarrassing. Okay, I'm gonna have Tristan edit out all of my deaths. I swear I'm not normally this bad at video games. Yeah, so that, that's the second level of Crash 2, Wrath of Cortex. Always a fun game. Definitely enjoyable. I liked. I did prefer the me mechanics for this game over the first one. I thought the, like, the island thing was kind of weird. I do really enjoy the Warp Room style for the Crash Bandicoot series. I'm happy they stuck with it through this one and into Warped. I think it just made for a better mechanic. So let's let's jump on over to Crash Warped, and we can check that one out and see what that one's all about. Okay, welcome back, everybody. I'm sorry, the, it was a little dark in the last two games. I figured out what I could do to fix it, but we're back. We're running, starting up Crash Bandicoot Warped. Really excited about this one. This is, like I said earlier, this is, this was my all-time favorite in the uh, original trilogy of games. The level design on these were amazing. And I loved like, I loved every minute of playing all of them. So let's start with Toad Village, and that's gonna be the one level I pick. I did find that this game does play the best, like I said in the other video. They did base the controls and the jump mechanics off of the ones for the original Crash Warp controls. So that would explain why this one does Play, play, play the best, you know, the, uh, your jumps work best here, and you don't, you don't seem to slide off things as much as you did in the first two, uh, remasters. Let's get that extra light, even though I'm only playing the one. these games was just being able to see it again and hear the music and everything looks so crisp is amazing. I know I sound like a broken record in this video, but it's true. I, I'm just, I was, I've been so impressed with how this game plays and how it feels. I can't get over it. Nope. Yeah, so that was the that was my one level first impressions and just to get you guys some footage from the game itself for each game. Let's take it to we'll switch the camera angles up and I'll just you know talk briefly about the game itself. So yeah, overall everybody, I love this this uh, trilogy of games. A lot of fun, worth the money. If you liked the games when you were, if you liked playing the games originally as they were, definitely pick this one up. It's worth every cent. I've been playing them like crazy. I really enjoy it. This one definitely for games it gets an eight out of ten, just because you can't give. I, I, 
this one in terms of games, I'm giving this a 10 out of 10 just for the pure nostalgia factor for me. I have been loving all of these remasters that Sony's been putting out for the PlayStation consoles. Whether it be, you know, Ratchet and Clank, Sly Cooper, Jack. I've bought all of them. Those games were my childhood. Replaying them in a, a remastered HD form was amazing. Lots of great memories from those games. So that's been my Big Sexy Plays slash Big Sexy Review of the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Have a nice day, guys. Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe. Give us a like. If you have any ideas for the next video, put them down here in the comments. And we're going to have all of the trailers for this game down in the description below. Have a good day, guys.